dark and cell and battling cancer with a scalpel in hand, or sitting behind a microscope. Instead, you'll find his tool of choice organized in complex equations on paper or blackboard. Together, numbers and Dr. Zellman are a very powerful tool in the fight against cancer. After graduating from high school and spending time abroad in the Army Air Corps, Marvin Zellin returned to the United States and the City College of New York, where he stumbled into his true passion, a probability class. He focused his education on statistics and probability, and in 1952 earned his master's degree in statistics from UNC Chapel Hill. In the mid-50s, he was hired as the youngest employee of the National Bureau of Standards Statistical Engineering Laboratory. He found the very complex problems that he tackled there both challenging and rewarding. So much so that he went on to pursue his PhD by attending night classes at American University. His first encounter with biostatistics came in the early 1960s. And a short time later, he was invited to lead the National Cancer Institute's statistical section. There, he focused his work on cancer and clinical research. Why cancer? It was a very difficult and complex problem, he says. After a year as a Fulbright scholar, Zellin dedicated himself to understanding and elevating the role of the statistician in the clinical trials. At the time, clinicians and surgeons who were administering clinical trials weren't focused on the importance of statistics to their investigations. Zellin created randomization techniques, centralized data management, and quality control methods that are the standard for today's clinical trials of cancer therapies. His large biostatistical laboratories with powerful computers became central hubs capable of administering hundreds of clinical trials at a time. Sometimes he laughs, like with my tennis game, you just need the right tools to win. Having spent the last 30 plus years at Harvard, he's helped build the Harvard School of Public Health's Biostatistics Center into a world-class academic program. Along the way, he's trained new leaders in the field and created a strong tradition of working collaboratively to tackle statistical problems in public health. Today, amid his busy guest lecture and teaching schedule, Zellin continues to study cancer. Along with his focus on the randomization of clinical trials, he is investigating the optimization of early detection screening programs. Tonight, we honor Dr. Marvin Zellin, whose contributions to biostatistical science have forever shaped modern clinical trials and the fight against cancer. 